Okay, I think this is the first of its kind for a golf car application. Uh, what we've made up in place of wiring is bus bars, and they are eighth inch thick, 99.99% uh, .99 pure copper. And the reason we did this, we have a lot of performance golf cars around here that are street legal, um, used for hunting, off-road. They're, they're lifted, bigger tires, more weight. Uh, they're, they're running either a high torque or a high speed motor, uh, four passenger, six passenger. The battery manufacturers have made the post so short that we're experiencing meltdown problems because the little wiring that comes with the car or even the upgrade just doesn't transfer the heat uh, or amperage, which equals heat, uh, quite as well as a bus bar well. This, this technology comes from basically forklift batteries. Um, it's proven over the years to be reliable uh, and long lasting. So what we're gonna do is we're, we're uh, gonna set these on here and um, you'll see how easy it is. We've got elongated holes in them so it'll fit uh, various spacing on batteries. We're using stainless flange nuts uh, to secure these in place. And uh, let's see, of course the, 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 the uh, it, for each different model car, we're gonna have different length uh, style bus bars. Uh, some will only require three, some will require five, maybe up to seven. This is the crossover one from front to back batteries. This is an EasyGo TXT we're setting these on. And um, whenever you have an accessory wire, such as for your lighting or something, we want that to go on top of the bus bar, not on the bottom. And we have heat shrink on each one of these in case there's an accidental droppage of a um, a wrench or something like that we do not want to cross bridge these things so the uh, other than any accessory wiring what we're going to have is just the uh, two main leads coming in from the main positive main negative and these are much easier to clean and we did a little sampling with four gauge or six gauge versus four gauge versus bus bar uh, we cut off an inch of each one of these uh, pieces of material and we came out with four grams for the smallest wire, six grams for the upgrade wire, and we're at 13 grams of weight for one inch of bus bar on here. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to move the, the power through these batteries at a much more efficient rate and hopefully, uh, well, we're not going to have corrosion going up inside the, the wiring, and that's where we see our biggest problem is uh, corroded wires internally, which creates hot spots. And a hot spot creates a melted post, a burned stud, a welded nut. And, you know, we don't want to see that. This little car, 36 volt, you know, doesn't really require the use of these. Um, it, it would be fine with just plain old six gauge wiring on it. Uh, but we we're just starting somewhere with it. So we're we're going to be more focused on uh, a little more modern 48 volt cars in the future and we'll have those up soon uh, with prices and availability. Thanks for watching.